What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Spoons. <coughs> What's going on in y'all's world? D. Curry. What's going on? How's the last start treating you? Tim, what's up? Do right, I like that name. Do right, the trucker. Michael Mahone, what's up? What's up? Regal, what's up? Victor, what's going on? <coughs> Did you miss me last time? <laughs> Jeremy, yes, for sure. Being this fly checking in. Trying to find your land. You out of the um, Detroit area, right? But one thing about Detroit, it's easy to find loads coming out. From what I remember, going out there. Mississippi, okay. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna be a little tricky. Yeah, Mississippi's gonna be a little tricky. Not impossible, but tricky. <coughs> Definitely doable. Delaware, what's going on? Delaware, out of all the 48 states, Delaware is one of four that I have not uh, been to. Yeah, Memphis is a good city. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you ever come across to, not in a while, I have not. And not in a while. And I had that Lone Star. I used to go through Arkansas a lot. But now that I don't have to, because y'all's DLT out there in Arkansas could be crazy. I don't go out there often. Arkansas and Oklahoma, I try not to go to. For sure, Oklahoma. You ain't missing nothing in Delaware. <laughs> yeah, Delaware. Yeah, Texas is a tax free state, too. Um, Delaware, Minnesota. Maine and Rhode Island are the only states I have not been to of the 48 states. Where is the flooring? The flooring is in a box over there. We have not opened it yet. I don't know, maybe we can get Laura <clears throat> to open a box. But, um, I don't know if y'all saw in my um well show it. I'm trying to find a lane. Yeah. Ah, okay. There's lanes that go back and forth from Memphis to Texas, that, that from I remember. But uh open, open, open. Rhode Island, okay. Uh so we went to the store today, me and the boys, and we got all the material, most of the material that we need for the uh to make a foundation under the floor, I got sound panels and everything to kind of deaden the sound of the truck. Oh, don't go to Florida. Don't go to Florida. Don't go to Florida. Don't go to Denver. Don't go to like Salt Lake City, don't Idaho. Don't go nowhere up there. And don't go to Florida. Yeah, that is the one thing I can say. Do not. I, I've been with Landstar for two years and I have never been to Florida. I've been to Florida running a, as a company driver, but never, I've never been to Florida as an owner operator, never. Because the rates are so bad coming out. 
You know, I got a dead head out of there. Bluebell, yes. It's bedtime, Genesis. Let me see. Matt, what's going on? See, why are you out of bed? Hurry up. You're supposed to be in the bed. Let him get let him get a Genesis. Carol, what's going on? So far so good, Carol. No bots. Been trying to get a hold of you to pick your brain. Oh, yeah. uh, shoot me an email. My email should be down there in the uh, description. I think you tried to send me one before. Yes, Dr. Pepper ice cream. It is delicious. What is this? All right, go put this in the trash. Go put it in the trash and go to bed. Okay, yeah, uh, appreciate it. Oh, you got one, Justin? Okay, I'm going to check it out. Yeah, Dr. Pepper ice cream, y'all. Whew. But yeah, uh, D. Curry, try uh, emailing me at uh, thehebrewtrucker at gmail.com. Try thehebrewtrucker at gmail.com. Email me on that one. Because the, the other one is, is tricky. Yeah, was some real nice trucks at Matt's. Yeah. Real nice trucks. Or um, D. Curry, if you have an uh, Instagram, uh, Hit me up. My link is down there in the description. Uh, the official Lone Star Texas Ranger. Or is it? No. Official Lone Star Texas Ranger. Trucking on a budget. Hey. If y'all didn't, wa didn't watch the last um, the last live, we announced a new name for the channel. The new name of the channel is going to be Trucking on a Budget. We're going to be doing away with a Lone Star Texas Ranger and renaming it Trucking on a Budget. Genesis, you're supposed to be in the bed. Go back to your bed and close your door. I already put you to bed, ma'am. <clears throat> they think because I'm distracted, they can uh, kind of do what they want to do. Actually, let me go put on their, uh, their alarm. Yeah, y'all. Uh, Bluebell ice cream. Uh, Dr. Pepper ice cream. It is good. How is the new old truck search going? Um, <laughs> budget tears. I like that, Carol. I actually like that. Budget tears. All right, Zeke. Use the bathroom so you can go back to your room. But, uh, hold on, guys. The baby's sleep. Uh, hey, what's up, Lone Star? I like the new name, Truck on a Budget. Appreciate that, 34 Reset. Y'all go check out 34 Reset. Have y'all posted any videos yet, 34 Reset? I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. Did you buy the fleet truck? So we haven't purchased it yet, but um, we've decided that we are going to get it. And uh, the owner, he's not going to sell it to anybody else. He's not going to sell it to anybody else, so he's... He's holding it for us. First, we're going to do some stuff to the FLD. I want to see how much that's going to cost us. And then... Uh... Okay, 34 reset. All right. Yeah, they got a new channel coming up, guys. And it's a really cool... Uh, really cool... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a really cool uh, perspective. But yeah, y'all, so the, the fleet truck, I'm going to see how much it's going to cost us to get this FLD where we want it. And then uh, once we get that situated, then we'll uh, be ready to go in and get that fleet truck. So what did y'all think about the fleet truck at our Pro Star? Genesis, go to bed and close your door. If you don't close your doors, Genesis, you're going to be in trouble. Josiah, is her door closed? Is Genesis' door closed? Is Genesis' door closed? 
Genesis, close your door. All right, if you don't stay in your bed, I'm closing your door. If you get the truck, you need to put Timberwolf in that truck. Uh oh, Timberwolf, you hear that? Wouldn't that be cool if I was sponsored by Bluebell? Oh my gosh. Hope you and your family have a happy Easter. Appreciate that, Jeremy. Yeah, we're just gonna be home all weekend working on the truck. And I was trying to go back to work this past week, but I have not been able to. I'm just I just got lazy. How did that peak cab overlook from the live chat? Um, uh, it needs a lot of work. Uh, like the whole interior would have to be uh, scrapped. Um, it, it would need a lot of work, and uh, more work than than what I need right now. I need something that's pretty much road ready. My truck is out there in the driveway, like on the the picture. Yeah, Michael, that's that's kind of why I want to put a. Um, I want. So I'm thinking about putting a ten speed in it. Um, because usually driving a manual truck would it would uh, attract like old school drivers. I'm not saying that all manual truck drivers are the best drivers or whatever. Or all are all the uh, old school drivers are good drivers. But um, I prefer to have an old school driver in that truck because, like you said, anybody could drive an automatic, and that's why I don't want an automatic. So I'm thinking about putting a 10-speed manual in that truck because I want to be able to limit how many people could drive that truck. Uh, when are you pushing that bumper in? Use your pickup. Nah, so it's a... Uh, I've tried moving that thing, but the reason it won't stay is because there's a bracket on the inside that snapped, and that bracket is what was holding the bumper in place. And that bracket snapped in half when that, uh, that piece of whatever that was went up under my bumper. <clears throat> D. Curry, don't, don't get me in trouble. Don't get me in trouble saying something on here. But, uh, but yeah, that, so that bumper won't stay in place unless I get like a new piece of bar and have it welded on there. But uh, what is today? Today is Friday, Monday. I'm going to go get a new bumper. So we got a new bumper coming and uh, we're doing the floors this weekend. And then we're doing uh, the stacks. Stacks are coming, which I'm put. I'm putting a video out tomorrow, kind of explaining uh, what's going on, what we're about to do. So make sure y'all tune in at noon Central Standard Time tomorrow. I gotta be up tonight editing, so I can get that video out to you guys tomorrow. Justin King, what's going on? Yeah, y'all, new channel name, trucking on a budget. We're excited about it. But yeah, uh, so we got the new floors in. We got the sound deadening panels to put in there. Zeke, are you done? Yeah. I want to do stacks on my truck, but they are pricey. How much are they running you for stacks? What kind of stacks? What size stacks? How much are they? Yes. Huh? Well, you got to figure it out. Hurry up and use the bathroom so you can go back to bed. Um, new name on. We just changed the name of the channel. They want to see the floors. What's going on, Rudy? I told him it would be up to you if you decide to. You took a bath already? Are you judging? Huh? Are you judging me? I thought you would just chill out for a little while. You was or you are? Or you did? I, I mean, I did. Oh. I thought you, usually you're in there for like a while. I heard you talking. Oh. Where's Fidel? His son had prom tonight, so I think he's hanging out with his son. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all, uh, they want to see, yeah, they want to see the floors. Everybody's saying floors. Are you judging? No, no, no. I'm asking because, uh, oh, yeah, are you judging? Ha, 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 ha. I'm just going to take my own bath. 
When you need someone to watch the babies, I'm sure Tito's would. Oh, uh, yeah, she probably would. Yeah, she fell in love with our youngest. I don't know, they want to see the, ooh, yeah, they want to see the floors. All right. If I can get 50 likes on this video, I will see if I can talk her into showing you all the floors. I can't promise that she's going to do it, but I can, I can, I can, I'll persuade her to do it. Those likes are going up. Oh, yeah, ooh, yeah, they're going up. We can get 50 likes. Fifty. That's <laughs> Jeremy. Eighteen. Oh, nineteen likes now. Okay. <laughs> Hit that like button up there. Oh dang! Yeah, they jumping up. First it was twelve. Now it's twenty-two. I don't know. There should be a like button on there somewhere. I don't know. Oh dang! Now it's twenty-five. Halfway there, y'all. And I'll see if she'll show you. B Rad, what's going on? 30. <laughs> Are you both drive in? Let me see. Are you doing both drive in and flatbed for Landstar? Uh, yeah. I'm, I might not be with Landstar too much longer, y'all. Yeah, uh, official, thank you, Carol. Official Lone Star Texas Ranger for right now until we go through and change all that stuff to the new channel name, uh, Trucking on a Budget. Uh oh, 18 more likes, y'all. If we can get to 50, I'll, I'll ask her. Looks like it stopped at 32. I'm late stopping in. Got to go back to the family. Need the next tab for the next week. Yeah, I saw you. I'm sorry, Josh. I saw you text earlier, but I was uh, working on a truck. My bad. Ooh, yeah, 34, 15 more. Where are you going? To the bed? <laughs> no, to the couch. Oh. Oh, where's the tripod at? No, Carol. It shows 35 on my end. I don't see no 36. Don't try to. Mm -mm. It says 35. I need 15 more likes. Yeah, they're for the FLD. Um, when I go to Jersey, I've been to Jersey before. Not my favorite. Come to Mercer, just seen a Landstar guy switch over last week. I'm sorry, no. When Super Trucker Dan told me, um, it's for the truck, it's for the FLD. Oh, you're in Texas, okay, nice. Oh, it says 37 now. When Super Trucker Dan, is he, what, what is he doing in there? He said he had to use the bathroom. He's been there for like 10 minutes. No, I'm not using that. Zeke, push ups. Because you lied. <laughs> Shush. You said you had to use the bathroom. Uh, but yeah, Mercer, I, I couldn't do Mercer because when Super Trucker Dan told me that. Uh, they kind of have a say so, not not a say so, but they help you book your your loads. Uh, I like the complete freedom I have with Landstar. I can No, you're gonna stay down there. <laughs> Companies can be shady. People screw people. Want me to pay for fuel from Phoenix to Fargo? Absolutely not. Oh wow. Mm. Wow. Uh, why do you try to do that? Zeke, shush. 
I mean, Mercer, they let you have 100% in what you do. Um, But I don't know. I don't know. The Super Trucker Dan kind of deterred me. Hmm. Okay. Go to bed. If you lie again, you're coming back down here. Hmm. I want to put it up. This hole is gonna be freaking cold. Does it open up this way? There we go. I need to get the, my views of my algorithm. It's like, it sucks right now. No longer going to advocate for them. Wow. Zeke, are you in the bed? Will you turn off the uh, the lights under the counter? The counter lights. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, 11 more lights, y'all. If we get to 50, 50 lights, I'll see if she'll... Uh... Thank you, Francisco. Um, how did you remember the pre-trip studies? Uh, you don't need to use the coordinates. I usually grab my own loads. Gotcha, okay. Um, I've used acronyms for everything. Uh, you doing flatbed, gotcha. Um, Richard, what's going on? Hey, if y'all like, uh oh, if you, repetition and acronym. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Rudy. Um, like for, for cracked, Damn it, what was it? Um, was it I think it's crack, dent, or leaks. I use like the acronym CDL. For uh, bent, broken, cracked, I use those three letters. Don't judge me, y'all. Uh, what else? Um, what was it? Uh, cracked, what, what, what was it? Uh, cracked, yeah, so yeah, for bent, broken, cracked, I used those acronyms. PMS, thank you, yes, I used that one. Um, when will your friend, uh, he's coming over s uh, Sunday to help me with the floors on the truck. Uh oh, five more likes. Five more likes, and I'll see if she'll show y'all the floors. Oh, four more likes. Hey, y'all killed that. Y'all went from 12 likes to 46. It says 45 on your end. It shows 47 on Carol's end. I think the floors are in, a, in, in the driveway, I think. The floor. I think the floor is in the driveway. Let's see. What's your go-to fuel cars? Neutral on the operator side. I was looking to go to Landstar. So Landstar has their own fuel card. So we just use theirs. Uh, so we get discounts with them. So we can get anywhere from like 20 cents off to like $1.50 off, depending on where we are. How do you manage working and video uploading? Oh, man. Uh, I, I tell you guys before, there's no such thing as 10-hour breaks with me. Um, uh. It's a lot of work. I got put in. Uh, I need a study partner. What's going on, David? Uh, hey, guys, if we get to 50 likes, we'll show you all the floors that we got for the truck. Well, I'll talk Laura into showing you all the floors for the truck. You know, Long Long Star, you know, Mr. Trucking or Mr. Budget. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I was doing a video earlier, and I was trying to figure out an outro for the video. But, uh... Uh, we use Landstar's fuel card. You gonna do your classic floor? Oh, yeah, the classic, nice. Uh oh, Carol says we're at forty nine likes.
But uh, but yeah, so we use Landstar's field card for, for the discounts and stuff. And we get some pretty some pretty good discounts. Yeah, Tim, mine shows, and yeah, so for some reason, I guess somebody unliked it, if you could do that. First it showed 48, now it's showing 47. <coughs> now it's showing 49. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't, I don't see 50 yet, Carol. It says 49. It says 49, Carol. I don't see 50 yet. Oh, D. Curry says it shows 50. Oh, Y'all see 50? I don't see 50. I see 49. I don't see 50. Tell Laura to go and pull the floors out, please. Tim said it still shows 48. Leonard, hey, let me see. Hey, does Laura still do baking of cookies, or did I misunderstand? Yeah, she still bakes cookies and stuff. Yeah, so she does like the custom cakes. Yeah, mine, yeah, it shows 49. I was trying to read like to get them up. <laughs> oh, now it shows 50, okay. I'm going to Prime in June, and I want to ace this. Oh, nice, okay, yeah, I heard Prime's a good company. Yeah, just study, 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 and look up uh, YouTube videos on free trip. All right, guys. All right, y'all. When she comes over here, let's ask her and see if she'll show y'all the... Did, did you meet the guy who was giving you the interior for your FLD? No, we didn't. Uh, we had a uh, conflict in schedule. Um, slow trucks, yeah, yeah. Tim, it's upgrade video six hours. Um, we, uh, what was I saying? Somebody asked me something. Oh, so we had a conflict of in the scheduling. So they also have that, uh, they have a 99 W900 they're selling, and they also have a... Uh, everybody saying please, Laura. Uh, what was I saying? Um, I lost my train of thought. Y'all make me lose my train of thought again. Uh, what was I saying? Goodness. Uh, oh. You gonna keep the FLD? Yes, I'm gonna keep it. Unless Robert, I mean, unless I can I can buy that classic off of you. What's going on, Brad? You're the diesel guy. Um, but oh yeah, so they were selling a W9 and they were selling a cab over. We had a conflict of uh, schedules. So we didn't get to go see it, but we did obviously go see that fleet truck. Brad's making his appearance. So Brad, what do you think about that, uh, the fleet truck, the Pro Star? Since you're Mr. International. I'll figure it's from oh, shoot, I forgot about it, thank you. Okay. Oh, Brad's Mr. Popular. Yeah, y'all, we got to get Brad to go to the Mid-America Truck Show. See, so where is the pro star for sure? Or are you still working on that? So we haven't paid for it as of yet, but um, but uh, the owner's not going to sell it to anybody else unless I say we don't want it. He's gonna he might put it up on the market for sale, but he's not going to sell it until we get it. So first we started. Uh, well, tomorrow we're starting the restoration on the interior of the uh, of the FLD. Uh, we got a bumper we're going to put on there. We got the stacks. We've been doing all that stuff Monday. And then uh, I got a lit whole list of uh, repairs to do to it to get a DOT compliant. Nothing major. Which y'all will see that in tomorrow's video. Jose, thank you. <laughs> Super chat again. All right, Jose. Uh, you forgot your Dr. Pepper ice cream. I know, I left my ice cream on the table. It's shit to put it up for me. Be careful with them Cummins. They like to drop liners. Oh, but I got Brad. Brad drops knowledge. This ain't gotta worry about no drop liners. But, uh, but yeah, y'all. Um, actually, uh, so we're, like I said, we, I 
I do know we got to do the uh, injector cups on that Pro Star when we get it, and then possibly uh, the injectors too. So uh, there we go. But yeah, when we do that though, we're reaching out to Superior Diesel. So if y'all need injectors, turbos, the whole nine yards, y'all definitely hit them up. Actually, can I like that? Oh, I can. Cool. <clears throat> You're the best, Jose. Yeah, he was at the uh, one of the booths. That, uh, he, he, I think he dropped 20 bucks in the Super Chat yesterday. Mm. Well, he was at the truck show, one of the booths I went to go visit. Actually, I think y'all were there. The one that had like the turbos and, not the turbos, yeah, the turbos and the liners when Brad was asking questions. Y'all were a little ways behind, but. What does FLD stand for? Uh, for... It stands for uh, for luxurious drivers. <laughs> you want to show them the floors? You want to wait? My family, let me see, let me see. my family loves the name Lone Star Texas Ranger. Please keep that name. So the reason I want to change it, let me see. When I get done in the Houston area, if you're around, let you check out the classic Excel, and we'll take it from there. If you want, I'll fly back to Jersey. Okay. When are you coming down? Even though the name of the channel is changing, you guys are still more than welcome to call. Oh, for there. sure. Yeah. For local drivers, Brad, go on somewhere. You show them she is eating. It's her truck, y'all. So she's in charge of the whole restoration of the truck. So if she wants to show it, I'll show y'all. If not, y'all gonna have to wait until Monday's video. I was just gonna ask when yeah. when would they have to mm. She's eating some kind of brownie. Is it a brownie? Mm. It won't make sense. No long star truck, no long star. Well, the reason I was sticking with uh probably next month. Okay, cool. Uh I mean, unless you just want to hand me the keys, Robert. I mean, I'm not opposed. I've always wanted a classic. You'd be my best friend forever, Robert. Um, did I join the Firestorm too late? <laughs> no, not, uh, uh We haven't shown the floors yet. I'm trying to get her to show the floors. All right, you can get them. You sure? Or do you want to? I mean, I'm, it's peer pressure, you know. Yeah, well, it's, it's usually <laughs> how they get me on this thing. They talk me in the end, they can give up, I can give up my social on this thing <laughs> if they pressured me enough. Name of the place, your banks. Let's see. Before I show you guys, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. But before I show you, I want to, to see who, who thinks I, what. I want you guys to guess what I got. <laughs> they are really. <laughs> <laughs> you want to right, go get it? I'll go get it. Peer pressure is just slightly less good. <laughs> That's a question. Do y'all have P.O. Box for mailing stuff to you? Yes. Uh, down there in the description below. Bearded Diesel Guy, no, because you know the answer. <laughs> Do you ever come to Arizona? I haven't been out there in a while, no. Uh, somebody had... But yeah, y'all have sent us baby clothes. Mm. Um, for the new baby when he was first born, y'all have sent us toys for the kids, gift cards in the mail. Um, what else have we got sent in the mail? I um, smoked turkey for Christmas. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that was for Thanksgiving, I think. Thanksgiving? Okay. Mm -hmm. Bright tie-dye floor. What was it? What was one of those? It's indoor grass floors. <laughs> All right, I'll go get it. Ugh. I was going to say, at this point, they're waiting on you. A C through four, okay. That's a good, that's a good thought. Matt, I want to say yes. We did see, we, we did see such person. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> I 
hope he's not paying on the floor. There's two of them, right? Huh? There's two of them. The other box is the noise canceling stuff. Well, because remember you ordered two of them, so I just want to make sure. Uh, Timberwolf. Oh, he came in just in time too. We're about to show the floors. Dang, y'all are blowing this up. Let's see. I'm going to say it's a see-through floor. Did you see Bruce Wilson at Matt's? Yes, that's Laura's favorite YouTuber. Um, Please don't make me roll my eyes on, <laughs> on the slide. Yes, indoor grass so you can pee on it. You are crazy. Well, I'm finished, yo, yo. Let's see. Uh, D. Curry, or at least operator. Because <laughs> I said such person. Uh -huh. <laughs> Brad, don't come for me. Cardboard, I know, right? But uh, but yeah, if you look at my uh, my mats video, you you'll see me. Thing, so. I don't think I need it. If you watch my uh, my mats video, you see me talking to Bruce. You talk to everybody, actually. Amazon, yeah, y'all already know. The only reason we got it from uh from Amazon is because Home Depot was gonna take too long to send it. Home Depot and Loves. And uh, floor Loves. decor? Loves. Loves. What'd I say? Loves. Oh, Loves. <laughs> Let's see. All right, guys, I hold it right here in my hand. Let's open one out. Take one out. I don't think they want you to open it. Hide it. Okay, right, hold it this way. Nope. I can't see it this way. I want to open it so I can show them the full. You need an opener? Yeah. Ugh, need more piano? Yes. All right, last, last chance. What do you think I got? I may look very mellow right now, but I'm actually very excited. About what, what we picked. Yeah, we're just tired. Yeah. Out and about all day. With the kids and stuff. It has been a long day. We might have to order some more. What do you think? I don't know. If we just do that, I don't know. Alright guys, you ready? Alright, done. All right. You ready? Can we get everybody to say drum roll? <laughs> Let's see how many drum rolls we get. You do the drum roll. You're you're the drummer. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Drum roll. Dang. Oh, I, oh, I got the emojis in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about the emojis. Yeah. All right. This is what we're doing to the floors. Nice texture on here. Does it actually have the texture? Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? Yes, guys, we are doing brick flooring. I am absolutely obsessed. The when I first suggested it, she thought I was crazy. I did, I did. Because in my mind, I'm thinking actual brick. No, not when I showed you the... I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but in my mind, I was like, actual brick, like... Yeah, but yes, guys, so we're doing brick. And one thing that I love is that the entire, like all of the trucks that we saw at Mads, I don't think I saw one truck with mm -hmm. like a brick flooring. So I'm excited to- <laughs> the no shoes inside the truck. I don't, I don't. <laughs> yes, Trucker 50 for the, uh, those are the floors we're putting in the FLD. We will add some color in other places like the dash and um, any kind of cabinets and storage and stuff like that. But this will be the floor that obviously the main color is going to be the sage green. Yeah, so the blacks. exterior is going to be sage green. And then what's the interior going to be? Um, I'm loving blacks. Any kind of, since this is going to be the floor, I feel like something kind of reddish. Like, like what do y'all think? Like the wood, red, red wood yeah. to bring it out maybe okay. on the dash. I don't know, so maybe something along the lines of that. What do y'all think? What color should we do the interior? You gotta wear house shoes. I don't wear I don't wear shoes inside my truck. Period. Like the only my shoes are only by the uh, pedals. As soon as my feet swing around, 
see, are you painting the outside of the truck? Yes, it's gonna be a sage green color. Oh, what'd you say? Um, how was the travel to the Kentucky show? Ugh, along with toddlers. Someone suggested aluminum dash. It's interesting. Mm. I gotta I gotta see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Orange and green. Different shades of gray. Huh. Fifty shades of it. <laughs> Yes, but I de we definitely still want a lot of black on the inside. So like the seats, we want to be black. That's going to look really good. Definitely haven't seen anyone else. Yeah, out of yeah. all those, that's one reason we wanted to go to Matt's first, just to kind of get an idea. More green than orange, okay? Green with pops of black and sage. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or gray with pops of okay. black. Okay, but I say green. Oh. You say green. Oh. It's okay. But yes. White, black, and gray. The black for sure because we want the seeds to be black. We want that back part to, I, I want that back part to be black. And I'm thinking any kind of like store, like the cabinets or storage and then the dash should be, those colors should be the same. You can call the truck Elder Goblin. Is that a Star Trek or <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> reference? I have, not, I have never seen, <laughs> guys, I have never seen a Star Trek or Star Wars movie. I've never been a fan. Golly. All right, all right, hold what on. Is it out Black and gray leather seats. Yeah, so I went and bought all the uh, sound deadening stuff. Mm -hmm. And we bought a base to put down. So we got a lot of stuff we got to install. So we're going to install well, all that tomorrow. That and open it. What other truck shows are we going to do? So we have the Houston truck show coming up. Old Town Rick down in Nacogdoches, Texas. We want to do the semi-casual truck show. We want to do the Mayberry truck show. We want to do the uh, the Kenley truck show. Pretty much all of them. We're going to try to do a majority of them this year. Better get floor really clean and use a heat gun to warm the glue. Yeah. Mm, that's a good idea. That isn't oh, even Star Trek, just a random name. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's do my stuff under the bus there. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Hopefully I can make it to one of those truck shows, yeah. I wish there was some truck show in the Northeast. The only one I can think of in the Northeast is the uh, one, the ones in uh, North Carolina. Louis Vuitton <laughs> interior. Hmm, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, guys. This is the direction we're going with the track. I'm excited. Black and dark and light gray. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you ever come to Georgia? Uh, yeah, I haven't been out there in a while, though. I mean, we were just there, but... Well, in a truck, I mean. But yeah, we were just out there in the truck. Maybe once you get in a truck itself, definitely unique, though. Yeah, that's what we're going for, unique. Mm -hmm. Something that nobody... Cause we went through all those trucks at, the, at Matt's, and everybody either had Weir or the epoxy mm -hmm. floors... Um, but nobody had that. Some some had wood. They did, yeah, they I, did. I think I saw a couple. <laughs> when my kids are out of the house, <laughs> you can't go to I Georgia. Can, I can team team drive with you. Yeah, <laughs> he won't even let me drive the regular. <laughs> nah, uh -uh. I want epoxy in mine. Yeah, I'm I'm wanting to get a. Uh, a Freightliner cab over with a Detroit 12.7 in it. Good night. All right, Leonard. I'm ready to call the truck mystery lady. I say she is going to be looking great. Yeah. Did you say hello to Justin for me? I sure did. Uh. Is that a name, Bishop Don Morgan? Hmm. But yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? Oh, so I want to get a cab over. And if I get that one, I want to put wood floors in it. Uh, same thing if I, I'm, I want a classic. I want a classic XL with a Detroit in it. If I can find one of those, uh, I, I want to have a cab over, a Freightliner cab over. Um, Freightliner FLD and a Freightliner uh, classic. All with 12.7s in them. Call the truck. Line them, oh, line item. 
Are you taking the seats out and install a new floor? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking out the seats. There's a few little modifications we got to do, but. Uh, Phantom. Oh, I like that Phantom. You like that? It's interesting, yeah. You guys, yeah, yeah, Justin had to stay at the lake house. That was so I peaceful. I'm sorry, I still have to edit that video. What, what video? On mine from the lake house. I still mm. haven't. <sighs> yeah, actually, how many of y'all have subscribed to Laura's channel? Mm -hmm. Not sure, Flora, I need to see the big picture. Yeah, it's, it's understandable. Yeah, call it Laura's Lane Runner. <laughs> Have y'all, her link is down there in the description below. We the Spencer family. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, Rudy's an OG. Yeah, Carol's an OG. Mm -hmm. Please pin it. Carol, will you please? Please, uh, please, Carol. I can't for this. They won't let us do it anymore. Many moons ago. <laughs> Yeah, she'll be posting some content on her channel too on the truck rebuild. So I might even I'm wait excited. to post it on my on, on mine. Let, let it post it on yours first. Appreciate it, Carol. Thank you. Don't do them like that, Shy. What? <laughs> them I'm gonna make them subscribe to your channel. <laughs> but the ones who are not subscribed, they they gonna subscribe now. Yes, thank you, Carol. How many subscribers do you have now? I'm trying to get her to pass, since Fidel's not here, I can tell y'all. I'm trying to get her to pass up Fidel. I think Fidel's got like 500 and some odd subscribers. I'm trying to get her to pass up Fidel. Yes, sir. I got four or something. Okay. Hurry up. I don't like Mystery Lady because we don't know where she's been. Oh, I like Mystery Lady because we don't know where she's been, but she'll be looking great. I'm subscribed. Cool, cool. Yes. yes he's my huh? He needs to wait. Come downstairs. Okay, 441 as of now. Okay. About 60 more and you'll be right there for Dale. Thank you. I, I don't even know my own numbers. You guys are the best. <laughs> Robert, the classic I'm going to show you has a 14. That's fine with me. It's a classic. I'll make it work. Ezekiel, you said you need to go potty. Do you want to put on pajamas? Please? Big timer, what's going on? Mama. Robert, if you were to sell that classic, how much ideally are you wanting for it? Come on, guys. Yeah, let's give her the 500 tonight. I did not say Why has he got a bit? I thought it was just how you said that. Appreciate 34 reset. Your buddies are in here. Hey, I was just talking to Shimon about you guys. Uh, was that yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Like the day before, something like that. I love y'all's concept. I think that's so fun. Yeah. Yes, sir. Baby. It is can, time for can bed. Can you focus on what you asked to come downstairs for? You asked. Yeah, there you are. Go ahead. I mean, I need you to go upstairs and put on pajamas. You look uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, why is Zeke downstairs? He's supposed to be going to the potty. You told him. Oh, no, no, Zeke. You already went to the bathroom. Go to bed. I thought that was Josiah that said that. And do not get back out of bed. Okay. Sorry, guys. About 15? Really, Robert? Okay. Then we have to, then we have to talk. 15? I'm sorry. Grand. I asked him how much he wants for his truck. Okay, nice. Um, sorry, I go to the potty. Please. Thank you, brother. What do you mean $15, Robert? <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll scrape up $15. 15 yen. Oh, it's only $15 worth of change in this couch. <laughs> no, we clean it right now. But yeah, the 34 reset guys, they're cool. Yep, y'all are tired of losing track of where everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been, we've been running errands all day today. Did yeah. you get the car washed? I did not. Yeah. I had to, I, I went all the way to H-E-B, did all, was there forever, did all my groceries, and then I realized I forgot what I went for, mm. which was milk. Mm. I hate when that happens. So I had to stop at Brookshire's. Mm. You could have let me know, I could have picked this on my way home. You already had enough you had to do. 
for a reset channel. Okay, yeah, y'all check them out. They got a really cool concept coming for the channel. He's the best. So don't spoil it though, what they got coming up. Now, what's the one thing you both can use in the truck? Ooh. So Burst we... control. <laughs> oh. So me as like the passenger princess or like, like what, what exactly do you mean? <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you. Uh, your bill made me check my driveway. <laughs> no, that's the uh, mini FBI ring. Motion. It's a motion detector for upstairs. So when they get out of their room, it uh, it lets us know. We, we don't know how to change the sound on it. It's got a bunch of different we were sounds. You're supposed to do it before you plug um, it in, but you um, you were quick. How do you do it before you plug it in? You're supposed to set because um, like it turns on. You just have to set um, it before. It shouldn't be permanent though. It's probably like a reset on it or something. Mm -mm. It's, it's permanent. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Okay. D Curry. That's why you're supposed okay. to read the instructions. Oh, I don't read no instructions. <laughs> uh, it says, "Ooh, you got them on a gel system." Hey. Okay, yeah, Robert. I still got every now and then. I do go back to those pictures. Like, man, that'd be a nice truck to have. I have motion sensor like that for my yard. There you go. Yeah. It's just because they're smart. They're smart yeah. kids and they know how to get around stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Birth control, LL class. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What can we use for the truck? Maybe like some comfortable sh sheets. And I'm not making a reference. <laughs> Calm down. I don't know. A floor mat. Cause I don't need one for, for that for sure. A cozy floor mat. Do you see eighteen wheels at mats? No, uh, he 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 wasn't able to make it. Out of boy. <laughs> but we just spoke to him. Like yeah, they're, they're doing so good. Yeah, they're doing really good. A porta potty, I know, right? You used to talk to Anthony. Uh, no, I haven't talked to him in a little in a little while. Why are you sitting down there? Uh, I don't know. I feel weird. I feel like I should. Be down there too. Uh, what a Tim. Tim, I didn't, I didn't see your comment. Oh, look on Facebook Marketplace because keep looking at for a truck, fifteen to thirty-five. Yeah. Um, uh, those are super fluffy blank. Really? Okay. And Shimon doesn't like being cold, so. Yeah. In the winter time, I would like one of those heated blankets. Anything can be. Sent to the go box, even like a big box. Oh, uh, to the P.O. box? I believe so. Because they keep some stuff behind the counter. Mm -hmm. We've had a couple big boxes. That's why we did. What was the, yeah, that one big box. Somebody sent us a bunch of stuff for the kids. Uh, after the video of Justin dropped yesterday, is why I said porta potty. Uh, I, see, I'm behind on everybody's videos, guys. I got to go back and I got to do some watching. Usually with a line. Or Mary image. I think I missed the previous comment. Oh, those are super. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yes, I guess we need to get some sheets, all new sheet sets and everything to kind of match the theme in the truck. Because the sheet sets I have in an hour, just, I just, they were on sale. I just bought, I just bought random ones. But yeah, Robert, uh, I'm going to take a look at that truck. I want one for myself. I find myself looking at trucks now when I ride the bike. My back roads see a lot of area too far. I saw one this week that was light green. Yeah, uh, I, I've been catching myself on Marketplace. Can I sit down there? No, I, I can't do that. My butt's starting to hurt. Carl. It's like, it's like hard to like. Either. I had had it back so lean, you can lean down like this. I need enough. I want coffee. Get coffee. Or you can just scooch. I think this one's sitting in the middle. 
Marketplaces, yes, it is dangerous, man. That porta potty was nasty in Justin's video. Oh no, okay. No, we're gonna have to watch it. You know, watch it. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't seen. We're, I haven't, we're a little behind. The last one I seen was him at Matt's. Yeah. I haven't seen any videos yet. Yeah, we gotta go back and watch this, this stuff. So is Amazon, what does it mean? Oh, uh, let's see, he was referencing, let me see. You, uh, you're so good at keeping up with- I'm you. trying, <laughs> I am trying. Oh, Marketplace is dangerous, so Amazon. Uh -oh. Yeah, don't I know it. You know, Bruce is Amazon, selling his truck. Amazon is dangerous in other ways than Marketplace. Mm-hmm, yeah, like the Marketplace delivery driver. Like... Oh, wait, what are you what? talking about? <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Marketplace is like physically dangerous because people are crazy. Oh, yeah. No, no never mind. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I was thinking of the Amazon driver and the absence of the male figure in the household. Oh, okay. That's why you're not supposed to open the door. You're supposed to wait until they drive off before you get your package. Mm -hmm. Unless they're in the house. What? Unless they're hanging out. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways. That's why days is because I spent a lot of money. That's me yeah. with Amazon. I'm yeah. sorry. All right. I just got it. It's too easy. I got to call it. Recording Anyways. in a porta potty. That's new. Yeah. Yeah. Did he actually record in the. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just wait until we watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, we were, we haven't watched anybody's videos recently. Blech. Oh, Craigslist I been was. On Craigslist in so long. Ooh, we. Yeah, uh, I've done some stupid stuff. I've gone to some stupid places to buy crap off of Craigslist. There was one time I went to go pick up something. I don't know what. What was I going to go? I think I was going to go pick up a doghouse. And I went to the place and. Uh, I parked on the side of the road. It was, I mean, it was in a busy, somewhat of a busy area. And I went and parked on the side of the road and next to this apartment complex. And uh, I parked next to this parked car that was obviously on. And uh, the lights kicked on and he just started like hauling butt. And I was like, what in the world? So I took off and he followed me for a good couple of miles. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to find like a police station. I don't know if he was, I don't know. Cause I never heard back from the sellers. So I don't know if they were in on it or mm. if it was just they thought I was trying to. They were doing something illegal and they thought I was uh, witnesses. I don't know. Are you gonna have Bruce paint your truck? No. Now I'm gonna have. Uh, we got a guy locally uh, who's probably gonna paint it. Yeah. But yeah, I've done some crazy. And there was one time I went to this one crazy, dark, scary place off the, near a port, near a graveyard to pick up. Some car parts or something. I don't know what it was, but it was... this wasn't for me, right? Huh? This wasn't for me. Nah. Okay. Cool. The doghouse probably was. No, but... it was probably for Bruno. Nah, we were staying with my mom when we moved back from Atlanta, so we had Nova at the time. I think it was a doghouse. I don't know. Well, then that's still. <sighs> yeah, I've done. Some, yeah, Craigslist. I oof. I've done some stupid stuff for some parts. Oh, no, no, no. I went to go buy those windows. It was in an abandoned house or something. So I was meeting the person there at night near a creek. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what? But then I was to get those windows for the window pane video. Oh. How long have you guys been together? Oh, God. Um, We've been married... Is this year seven or? Yeah, this year will be seven. This August. Clear the microwave timer. <laughs> Is that something bothering you back there? <coughs> August what? August the. Put you on the spot. Man, Francisco, you suck. Uh. There's two dates in my mind. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. The 20th of August. You guys, the fact that it's taking him this long. It's the 20th. Yes. The 
The 20th of August. Don't ask for the year. Oh, you said seven years, so 2017. I, w I probably wouldn't remember the year either if it weren't for Josiah. Mm. Oh, he's born with the following year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I know y'all. Mm. Hope you kept the dog. <laughs> so I don't even know what that thing is. It's like the company that on a porta potty dog. <laughs> and they've got to watch this porta potty and see what. <laughs> you know, one place I wanna I wanna go travel. Hmm. Oh, it time. might be your bed. Oh, Jeremy, that was a good one. It's about the doghouse. Bravo. That was really good. Bravo. On your FLD, how the dash light gray with the gauges and switches or dark gray in the background and gauges. Like on the international. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have to show me, show me what that looks like. Yeah, it was bad. I set my wedding for the day after my birthday, so I wouldn't forget it. Been married 20 years. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're gonna need that dog house if you get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I got it, guys. I remembered it. I always get it mixed. There's like three dates I always get it mixed up on. You know why he gets it mixed up, though? Because he double booked himself. I did. <laughs> yeah, yo, I had a. Back when we were in the he music was industry. literally going to even after you realized you were still going to try to make I it. I was work. still going to try to make it. So Somebody had is. offered me to open. There's a rapper, a local rapper in Houston. He's a pretty big timer. His name is uh, Paul Wall. And I got a call to open for him at one of his concerts at Warehouse Live, which is like a big deal down here. Oh, no, it was, I forgot what, what festival it was for. But anyway, I got a call to open for Paul Wall. And it was the day of our wedding. It was booked for the day of our wedding. And so they called me like, hey, like you want to open for Paul Wall? And I was like, yeah, yeah, cool. I said, when is it? They were like, August 20th. And I was like, something's that day. But uh, whatever it is, I can move around. I, I forgot. <laughs> booked the concert, totally forgot. And I, I had to call him back. I was still going to try to make it work. I was going to try to do the concert and then go to the wedding. But I ended up having to cancel. Why do you say it like that? Yeah. <laughs> I got to cancel. Well, that was a lot of. My wife is the twentieth. We picked the eighteenth as our wedding. Gotcha. Rudy, you've been married for twenty two years. That's awesome. Yeah, Rudy said twenty two. Venus said twenty. Y'all giving away your ages here. Shut that. Tim said fourteen. Married for thir. Oh, they've been together fourteen. Married for thirteen. Wow. Justin said parents thirty eight. Wow, goals there. Yeah, but we've known each other since sophomore year in high school. Mm -hmm. So we've known each other for a good while. A long little minute. But yeah, I had an opportunity to open for old Paul. I actually have a whole song with Paul Wall, but they never released it. Man, we continue to convo. You're going to end up outside and change the subject. <laughs> Wow, Brad is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we've been with your husband since 1975. We're going wow. to get on that, Brad. For you, Carol. I mean, I keep doing that. But he was part of, no, he was part of, uh, Amanda. Young know, kids and my wife have been married. Oh, 54 a year. Wow. Woo. Wow. Do I like you that much? Yeah, no, right? <laughs> God. No, Paul Wall was part of a. Uh, what's the name of that group? Uh, see, I'm tired. I can't think of the name of the group. Uh, Which is odd for him because he has a great memory. <sighs> what was the name of that group with uh, Pyrex and. Um, what's the dude's name? Uh, Trade the Truth. I can't think of the name of that group, y'all. 18 when they all met. Yeah, we were, what, 16 when we met? Mm -hmm. it was probably and she wouldn't give me the... Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Expensive taste. Let's see. Uh, oh, Marine. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Wow. That's brave. My wife is 18, 23. Mm -hmm. 
Stop that. What? Stop that. So when you were 22, Rudy, how old was she? <laughs> <laughs> That's when he was with Travis Barker. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, Rudy. Did you? All right, Rudy. Stop. With Mike Jones. Leave Rudy alone. What was the name of that group? I cannot think of the name of that group, y'all. With Trader Truth, Pyrex, uh, Paul Wall. How many has she spent on the black page? Swisher House. You have a Swisher House, and there was another group. I cannot think of the name of it. Um, hey, hey, Mike. What's going on, Mike? My hair is legal 18. Okay, Rudy, thank, I'm just making thank, sure. Thank you, Rudy. I'm just making he's, sure. He's being so ridiculous over here. I've got I'm your just, back, Rudy. I'm just making sure. Whatever. Be nice to Rudy. Actually, there was a point when you were legal and I wasn't. <laughs> I was a cradle robber. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Guys, you guys know how old we are? <laughs> what is the best way to... We have a difference in opinion on that. Mm. The best way to cook a steak. Mm. He, yeah, he's got some grills. Yeah, Paul Wall. He likes his dry and rubbery. No, I like mine well done. <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. At least you weren't rocking the cradle. <laughs> hey, yeah. I wasn't rocking it. She was. Yes, starting on a truck tomorrow. We've already, I've already kind of started on it. It's out there in the driveway now, which I'll see in a, on a picture. Medium, ugh. Yes. Medium or medium rare is my preference. Like I said, Shmoe likes some rubbery. <laughs> yeah, medium rare, yes. Need a charger? Mm -hmm. It's an extension. It's in there. Uh, I don't think so, but we can move if you need to. Hmm? A lot of medium wells. Well done for those who got to. <laughs> exactly, Rudy. So what's the point in eat, even eating the steak at that point? I can't take my wife to the steakhouse. She always is sitting back. Just, uh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. No, son, go lay down. I'll, I'll come give you a hug later. I love you. Good night. Now watch right when dad comes in. They're not going to be so bold. It's okay. Yes, sir. You didn't get your hug from daddy? No. All right, you're going to have to wait till we finish. What? Saya didn't get his hug. <sighs> well done with A1. Oh. I'll say that here. Medium. Ugh. What's a medium? Yes. You can't take my wife to stick out. She's out here sending back. It's a waste of stick. Let's be bone dry. You said you like chewing on it. Yeah. <laughs> it is a crime in this household when yeah. we don't hug good night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they only figure this stuff out after going to bed. ABN. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. That's the name of the group. ABN. That Pyrex in the house. I, I, yeah. I mean, I know what you're referring to. Yeah, that's... It doesn't ring a bell to me. Yeah, ABN. That's the name of the group I was trying to think of. Gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. 
I don't know why I couldn't think of that. I knew it was letters. I just couldn't think. Oh, Tim, thank my wife. Okay, yeah, your wife is is a true one. A little pink, ugh. Shimon is convinced that you're still like practically drinking the blood. So that's why he yeah, I don't do, I don't, I don't eat, I don't, no. Uh -uh. So yeah, guys. You wanna show him one more time the, the floor? You guys deserve it, especially sticking around this long. I'm very, very, very excited to put these floors in. Uh, David, I haven't checked my email. I'll, I'll check it out here in a little bit. It's still gonna look a little weird because it's got like a lot, you know, that that royal blue everywhere. But once we start painting all that stuff and all of that, it's gonna look really great. Yeah. Oh, I should Google it. Okay, I know it wasn't crazy. Yeah, so we got we got some work to do the next two days. Yes. Gotta get the heat gun out. Gotta get we gotta clean again. Mm-hmm. Cause Shimon is just bleh. I'm just joking. Everywhere in a good detail. Wash everything and then we're gonna get started tomorrow. I'm gonna let you finish talking because I still have to do taxes. All right, you guys, that is it for me. I got some more work I got to get done before bed. Let's go get some sleep, man. Yeah, I'm about to record a sleep stream soon enough. I know, right? Yeah, we still haven't even done our taxes, y'all. We're still trying to get together receipts and everything. I have a video coming out tomorrow. Video coming out tomorrow. So, and it's just me kind of explaining what we're going to be doing to the truck. And then the next video after that, hopefully, will be Monday. <sighs> yeah, I have a video. I mean, I had to put something out. I'm leaving y'all out to drive, which is why I've been trying to do the lives, but. I am gonna close the door and just turn the light on. Okay. Or do you want, well, I guess tomorrow we'll be working on the truck. I was gonna say, do you wanna just do your text tomorrow? I, I'm trying to get it done before April. Yeah. Have a blessed Easter. Thank you, Robert, thank you. Yeah, I wanna, we'll, uh, Check out that uh, that uh, that classic you got. Um, do you plan on being at, at any of the truck shows, Robert, in the near future? You'll be coming out to Richmond, Texas this summer to visit family. Okay, that's where my mom and sisters live out there in the Richmond Rosenberg area. That's probably about an hour and a half away from us out there in Richmond. Really nice area out there near uh, Sugarland. Bag of white in the bag. Tell Laura she has two weeks. Do it tomorrow. Yeah, Rudy said you have two weeks. Do it tomorrow. Chill. Rest. Okay, you're going to the Kenley's. Okay. Are you bringing the, uh, the classic? But yeah, Robert, I got to see because um, we're putting a lot of our... So it's going to cost me a little bit more. I mean, still not much, but... I wasn't going to do the bumper right away, but I'm going to do it uh, soon, or well, this week on the truck. So I'm going to drop a nice little wad of cash on the FLD to get that situated. And then, uh, even though it's not easy for me, yeah, the hardest thing I'm coming this week, put my pops to rest. Oh, wow. We'll keep you in your prayers. I'll keep you in our prayers. But, um... So I got to spit out a water cash to get this FLD, situ FLD situated. And then we got to um, spit out a water cash for that uh, the fleet truck. So hopefully by Kenley, I have a little cash. But uh, I don't know. We're uh, investing quite a bit of money into uh, into this. So 
I may uh may not have the cash all situated, Mr. Robert. Because the only reason I'm getting that Pro Star, guys, is because of Brad. If I didn't have Brad in my corner, I would not be getting that Pro Star. Because Brad is a international master. What do you label it as, Brad, when it comes to international trucks? What do you label it as? It's my experience. It seems to break down a lot. It's very comfortable. MC Murphy, good to see you at home with the family. Yes, we just showed y'all uh, the floors that we're putting, boom, into the truck. Let me put that right there. Uh, he's like a he's like a master tech, or I forgot what they call. Um, well, because of Brad, that's the only reason. Because at first I said no when it came to the Pro Star when the buyer had a not the buyer, but the seller had reached out to me on the truck. First I said no, and I'm not doing that again. But uh, because that's what Brad works on, that is what he is most knowledgeable on. Even the repairs that it needs to get done on it, Brad is able to do it for a quarter of the cost. So that is why we're gonna go ahead and get that uh, that Pro Star. Only because of Brad. If I didn't know Brad, or Brad was in, in the circle, we would not be getting that truck. And so like I said, even with the repairs it needs now, like. We're not paying nowhere near what the repair bill is. Yeah, Guru. Um, I was trying to think of his actual title at his job. So yeah, so we, we got to pay for that truck. Um, we be coming to North Carolina in May or April. Uh, I don't know the the dates yet, but uh, whatever that uh, that Kenley truck show is, and whenever that Mayberry uh, truck show is. But, uh, so yeah, we're dropping a nice little water cash. Like I said, getting this FLD situated. Um, yes, Carol, for sure. Master mechanic, there you go. Master tech, I don't know. Looking good, taking your time so you don't have to do the job over. Yes, yes. So that's why we're trying to get this situated. Um, make sure this FLD is situated. Once the FLD is done, we'll uh, drop the cash on the ProStar. Get that one situated, and then we'll be looking for the next. Super, super good guy with a wrench, I know, right? But uh, hopefully after we get that Pro Star situated, Robert, if you still have that classic, I'll uh, get that off of you. How many gears does the Pro Star have? It is a automatic, which I want to put a 10-speed in it, which that is something Brad can do. Actually, Rudy, it's a 10-speed automatic. I've never heard that before. It's a 10-speed automatic, but I want to put a 10-speed in it over time. Scott, what's going on? Appreciate that, Scott. How's the tour going? Yeah, it's a 10-speed automatic. Honestly, you're probably going to eat an ultra shift. Probably. Yeah, I think that's what Brad said, yeah. First gen auto, ah, it retains, gotcha, okay. Yeah, Rudy, really, I've never seen them before. By the time I even knew what an automatic was, I, they had the 12 speeds out. So I didn't even know they had 10 speeds. Uh, are you going to do epoxy over the vinyl flooring? Uh, probably not. On the FLD, we're gonna be doing this. On the Pro Star, we're, gonna, we're, just, we're just gonna leave it stock. Starts tomorrow, all right, be safe out there. Ooh, gotta give it five, yikes. Now, I've seen an auto shift with a clutch before. I've seen that. But yeah, over time, I want to put a 10 speed in it. Put a 10 speed in it. Uh, but for right now, we're going to keep it as an automatic. We'll run an automatic as long as we can, lifeline, li lifeline wise. And then when it's time for a new transmission, we'll put a 10 speed in it. But it does need some repairs done on it. So uh, we're going to have Brad. Uh, do his, put his magic touch on it, and then we'll uh, be ready for the next project. But for myself, I either want a classic XL or a uh, Johnny, a long time no see. Must take forever to get the speed. I don't know, I haven't driven it yet. It was stuck in mud when we went to go see it. Uh, I need about three, yikes, y'all. Y'all go to bed, goodness. Let's see, how are y'all doing? 
Uh, trucking with Willie, how's it going with the job? With the job search. Facebook had 310 speed between 300 and 500. Uh, I don't know where. 10, exactly. Right. That's why I want to put a, a manual in there. Uh, cousin and I are talking. Maybe we're going to buy three trucks. Get started again next spring. But keep Okay, Scott. All right. All right. Keep me in the loop. What's going on? How different is driving an 18 manual versus a six speed? Uh... Hmm. It's different because you can float gears on the truck. You know, you, you don't have to use the clutch if you get your RPMs mashed right. And if you do use your clutch, you got a double clutch. You got to clutch it in neutral and then clutch it in the gear. Which I haven't double clutched in forever. I think on my road test was the only time I ever double clutched. Um, the lake house was beautiful. Definitely uh, real peaceful. 18 speed, I look forward to all right, Scott, we'll get, I'll get with you. Hit me up sometime next week. Um, who is paying for insurance, you or your driver? Um, Lance, so we'll be paying for everything. I ain't going to get rid of it until you see it. I've over 17 years since it. Oh, wow, really? Don't tell me that, Robert. Wow, okay. Oh, Robert, you should be a blessing. How about how about this, Robert? You'd be a blessing to a um, a I know I know of a group, Robert. Of uh, there's a group, there's an organization of the, it's called the Negro Six, the Negro Six Foundation, and it is a family of six. They um, it's an organization to where you contribute to that family. And it feeds four kids, four kids with black holes in their stomachs that eat a lot. And uh, they often don't like going to bed. They find all kinds of excuses to roam around the house, especially when their parents are occupied. But there's a family I know of. And uh, like I said, it's the organization. And it's like the uh, United Negro College Fund, almost. But um, they're not as big as an organization. And uh, they are very heavily into trucking. And uh, a Freightliner Classic XL would be greatly beneficial to feed those four kids. So for just one set of keys, you can feed a family of six. One set of keys, Robert. You can feed six. <laughs> Johnny, what's going on? Oh, Corpus. I need to get back down there to Corpus on a, on a vacation now. It's good. Tanker Company. There you go. Okay. Let me see what Josh said. Get a hold of you. All right, Josh. All right. All right. Oh, see? Robert. Okay. Okay. So if you can be a blessing, you can. You know how Jesus took the the two loaves, what was it? What was it? Five. It was five loaves and two fish, and how he spread it across a multitude. Robert, you can take that two set of key, that two sets of keys, and multiply it, double it, and feed twice as many kids with two sets of keys. You can turn that two sets of keys, Robert, into four fed children for just two sets of keys. Robert, can you imagine? Can you imagine the blessing? That would be on your life for doing so. Let me see. Hey, who's out of bed? I heard that bell. Zeke, are you out of bed? <sighs> he back on the kitten guard of bed. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine you getting blessed like that. Francisco, we've already been blessed. Zeke, come here. Stand right here until I'm done. 
Shush. So now you have to stand right there until I'm done. Uh, the W9. Johnny, we're we're getting we're getting tied. We're getting tied up with finances over here. Yeah, I could use a class of XL blessing too. Don't happen too often. Uh, name the fleet after him. Man, shoot. I would come up with an acronym for Robert if that were to happen. Whole ac acronym. But, uh, but yeah, we've been blessed left and right, guys. Even the FLD, the opportunity with that and how it came about was a blessing. Uh, the Pro Star, that was definitely a blessing. Um, there is another um, truck that we are looking at, which we talked about. That would be for you guys. We would dedicate that truck to y'all. Uh, that truck is also, if we decide to get one, that would be a blessing. But the opportunities that we've had since starting the YouTube channel has just been a blessing, you know, all together. So with or without a classic XL that could greatly feed 400 kids. Uh, what caused Stuntman's accident? Uh, it, it cannot be elaborated on due to legalities behind the scenes. They have to uh, get all that figured out. Bob's busting bulk print. But yeah, they, they have to get all that figured out on their end. There's a, you know, when there's an accident, especially involving an 18-wheeler, they like to penny pinch and all that kind of stuff. So you got to get attorneys involved and all that kind of crap. So that is something I cannot elaborate on. But yeah, Stuntman, awesome guy. That, that is a funny dude, y'all. Stuntman is definitely one entertaining dude. Always going to be the life of a party no matter where he, no matter where he goes. To help 400 children, man, oh man, I can hear their cries in the distance. I know, right? I should do like a whole commercial. Y'all know how they do like the Feed the Children commercials? And then I just have like a, a classic XL drive across the screen. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, I, I should I should look into doing ads, y'all. That was pretty creative. Two sets of keys could feed four kids. Isn't that creative? How you can double it? I should look into to doing ads. Yeah, I think we're trucking, man. I don't care how sales went. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, but I, I actually no. But what we do, you got to be a salesperson too. Because there's been times that we've, uh, you know, you got to sell to a customer and stuff. And I use analogies like that to win over my customers. Well, speaking of which, uh, I had a meeting earlier this week with a potential direct customer. I figure the insurance will have taken care of everything once they start charging. Uh, yeah, so when it comes to the drivers and stuff, we'll be paying for all that. Uh, the only thing the driver will be required to pay for is their workers' comp. Landstar requires workers' comp, so the, and which is it's not much. I forgot how much it is a week, but the driver would be because uh, there's like different plans you can choose, but the driver would be only responsible for that. Did you know that every one horsepower, one more child, <laughs> one more child gets fed? I know, right? And in a classic XL, what is that pushing about 450 to 500 horses somewhere in there with a 14 liter? I don't know. Actually, it might even push about 525 horses with a 14 liter. I'm not too familiar with the 14 liters. The 12 sevens I'm more familiar with than the 14s. Yeah, 455 to 415. Okay, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Five fifteen, you got that right on the money. So, Robert, what? Like, are you plan on retiring? Is that why you plan on getting out the truck? Five fifteen. Okay, y'all know your stuff. I think my FLD is getting over six, over six hundred horses. I need to put on a on a on a on 
gonna do Dino Tune. See what it's getting. Oh, retiring. Gotcha. Okay. I know, right? All these copycats. They just copied and pasted what you said. Let me see. Is that 13 speed, Robert? 13 speed transmission. And from what I remember on the pictures, I think you had like a wood flooring on the inside, I think. Did, uh, what's his name? What's the other YouTuber? I had no idea. Stuff, man, was touching it. Oh my gosh, that dude is non-stop. That dude, he's more reserved on camera, but that dude is such a goofball in person. Super silly. Always dancing and singing and cracking jokes. Like, he was the life of our whole uh, match experience. But did, uh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Nomad, the other Landstar driver with the Red Classic. Did he ever sell his truck? I think he had one at 40 grand for it. Ah, arms down. Stand right there and be still. 13 speed. Oh, I missed a 13 speed. Oh, man. That 10 speed is going to drive me nuts. Hate it. I hate a 10 speed. 13 or 18. Shoot, I'll even drive a 15. But 13 or 18, or 18 are my two favorites. 10 speed, I can't stand them. Way too much shifting. I miss. This one thing I do. It's probably one of the only things I miss about my Lone Star is the... Uh, the the uh, splitting the gears. He made Laura turn red. Oh my gosh. Twin stick, oof. I've driven a, ten, a twin stick once and that was just like a couple of feet. Actually, I've never actually driven one. Don't forget about your step <laughs> job. Yeah, yeah, he, Stuntman had all of us, all of us cracking up. Definitely the life of the party. Really good, really good dude. Mm. All right, y'all. I got a text. Yeah, I don't know what for the hell. I mean, I think it's right. I think his son is uh because his son is going off to prom tonight, so he's probably sent him off to prom. Actually, y'all, this looks really good on my couch. It could be a pillow. Yeah, y'all, this is gonna be the, the floor in the truck. All right, Johnny, thank you, thank you. This is gonna be the floor, y'all. So tomorrow we're gonna be getting started on detailing it, <clears throat> cleaning it real good. And then uh, Sunday is gonna be installation day, which I will be getting content on both. I do have a video dropping tomorrow at noon, which I oh, still gotta edit that video. Uh, that video will be dropping tomorrow at noon. Oh, a video will be dropping tomorrow at noon. And then uh, Monday and Tuesday, I should have videos. And then Monday and Tuesday, in real time, I'll be out there, hopefully in Dallas, Fort Worth, getting repairs done on the truck. And getting the new stacks, getting, getting the new bumper put on. Not a new grill yet. Not yet. Okay, but yeah, so... I gotta make sure that I'm at the Kelly Truck Show. If you live in Corpus, I have put it together. Johnny, we can use all the help we can get on this truck. But, uh, so yeah, Kelly Truck Show, y'all. Mayberry Truck Show. Houston Truck Show, which is, they call it the Texas Truck Show. I'm gonna try to make Shell Rotella is having a, uh, a truck show in Fort Worth uh, later this year. We'll try to make that one. Uh, who else is having it? The Old Town Rig Down on Nacogdoches, Texas. And then, uh, Large Cars and Guitars, I don't know yet. Um, Joplin 44, I'm not sure yet. But, uh, those are the ones I can think of. Oh, semi Cows, we'll try to make that one. 18 speed all day. Did Fidel see you still as iconic camera wife? You know, last lot. <laughs> when I did the camera wife, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was I was gonna imitate him, but I was like, nah, I'll be nice on camera. Behind the scenes, I'll, I'll be mean to him. <sighs> I am waiting on him to go live so I can make fun of him in his comment section. Keep the grill. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all heard it. Carl said uh, keep the grill. 
So that is what we'll do. We will keep that grill. Let me see that, uh, that pink knife right there. Thank you. Y'all heard Carl. Carl said keep the grill, so that's what, that's what we're gonna do. When I'm on the road, I run around 60, let me see, and it's set for 115, never had, this is fast, an occasional 70. It was like that when I bought it. Gotcha. <coughs> the Three Amigos Grill, y'all are crazy. Run around 65 to 66 miles an hour, I said. 115, never had that fast, just an occasional 70, gotcha. Yeah, usually I run at about 68 miles an hour. If I'm light, I'm running at 70. If I'm heavy, I'm between 65 and 68. Went the barbecue grill. <laughs> Come on, Carol. Uh -uh. Put your shirt back on. Come on now, Carol. Okay. Carl said to keep the to keep it. Yeah, guys. Oh, it's been a long day. And we got a long weekend ahead of us too. The girl reminds me of Transformers. Just get Paul Wall to make you a grill bling. Yeah, y'all, I have a whole song with that man, and they would not release it. I think it's because I gave him a run for his money. So the story is I used to work at a uh, recording studio that I've done. Uh, I used to do uh, audio engineering too, and like producing and all that stuff, behind the scenes stuff. So I worked at a recording studio here in the Houston area. Well, out there in the Houston area. Uh, Wade, what's going on? Uh, we showed the, uh, the new flooring that we're getting for the truck. Boom. Um, so I worked at a recording studio and some guys came in there to uh, uh, to do some recording, which one of them was my homeboy. And he has some old school, um, yeah, move so you can see it. He has some uh, old school uh, Houston rappers with him. I'm not gonna say their names. And they were working on a, a song. And um, they, they rapped in the song, they finished it. And one reason people used to book with me um, was because I would give my critique because I also rapped as well. So I would be able to give my critique on what they should or shouldn't do or what would sound better or whatever, just from a, another rapper's perspective and from a audio engineer's perspective and as a critic's perspective. And so they asked me, like, they were like, so uh, what did you think about the song? And uh, I told them straight up, I was like, it sounds like a bunch of old Houston has-beens that are trying to stay current you know, keep up with the uh, the style of rap nowadays. And y'all know how Houston rap is. You know, that swinging and grills and, and all that kind of crap. And uh, I live in Houston, but my family's from the Midwest, from St. Louis and Detroit. And I've never liked Houston rap. That I just never liked it. That slow, what do you call it? Uh, swang and bang kind of stuff. Uh, I, uh, I just told, I was like, no, I'm like, nah. And one of the guys was like, oh, so you think you can do better? I said, matter of fact, yes. Yes, I do. And so the name of the song was called Network. It was called, it was about networking, you know, and growing your network and, you know, blah, 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 and such and such. And so I, um, they said, all right, we'll be back in 24 hours. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty music. Thank you. Um. <laughs> uh, and so they said, we'll be back in 24 hours You know, with, with the, when you're done mixing and mastering the song. And if you can record a verse on there by then and we like it, we'll keep you on a song. I said, all right, cool. And so uh, they left. They came back the next day. And uh, I recorded my verse on the song. And they liked it. And they sent it out to Paul Wall. And then they never released the song. I think it's because I outdid old Paul Wall. And from what I remember, my verse, because I, like I said, I grew up, well, my family's from the Midwest, Detroit, or St. Louis and Detroit, so the style of rap out there is a little bit different. 
well, way different than Houston rap. So I grew up on like Eminem. So all that, you know, Eminem and uh, Twister and, uh, uh, what's the dude's name? Uh, Tech Nine, you know, a little bit of Nelly. I kind of grew up on that stuff. And so I think lyrically, I think I lyrically killed him on that song. <laughs> Getting ready to tire for good, so don't be surprised by this. Drop the keys in your hand and walk away. Good night. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, y'all. Uh oh. All right. You know what? We're not going to name the channel uh, Chucking on the Budget. We're going to name it Robert. <laughs> um, good night, Robert. God bless. We will catch you on the next one. Uh, so, yeah, so we did the whole. Um, uh, so, I think I killed him lyrically. So, my flow was a little bit different than theirs. So, I think lyrically, if I can remember the lyrics, it was, the, like I said, the song was about networking and growing your network. So, I think my lyrics were something like, I started out empty, but I started team building. Let me see. I started out empty, but I started team building. Um, I forgot, let me say, started out empty. But I started team building with the team I've been something, something. Let me see. I started out empty, but I started team building something, something, something with the artists I've been collabing with. It took me a second. It took me a, took me a minute. It took me a second. But the main part of the verse I remember, I said something, uh, I think the part that kind of gave Paul a run for his money. Uh, took me a second, I mean, how does it make it? Not, to, I mean, okay, I said, I started off empty, but I started team building with something, something, something with the artists I've been building in. Took me a second, but it took me a minute, blah, blah, blah. But uh, not to mention the business space leaves it. Um, the part that I think I ran, that he ran, I gave him a run for his money was something along the lines of, uh, something like I built a circle. Let me see. Guys, I can't remember my lyrics. It's been it's been so many years. Um, I remember half of it. I don't remember the first part of it. Oh, I know what it was. I squared up and I built a circle. I squared up and I built a circle. I try angles that lead up to God. It's him overall in my network abroad. No, I squared up and I built a circle. That was in my wreck, tangled. I squared up and I built a circle. That was in my wreck, tangled. I try angles that lead up to God. It's him overall, but I kind of said over quickly to where it sounded like oval. It's him overall in my network abroad. Watch me network. Those were the lyrics. So I took that and I was able to make double meanings off those words. I square it up. Trigonometry bars are crazy. <laughs> yes, I was a nerd in school, guys. I was a nerd. Yes. I square it up and I built a circle. That was in a rectangle. I try angles that lead up to God as him over all in my network abroad. Watch me network. Boom. Actually, I remember my very first collab was with this music, this uh, record label that wanted to put me on their, on their label. This is my very first like feature collaboration ever. And this is my very first time like trying to outdo, because in rap, it's kind of competitive. And uh, my very first like competitive line was, uh, that was my first time hopping on somebody's track. And my music name back in the music industry was, uh, I was DJ and stuff was Music Mixer. And the lyrics were, uh, dang, what was, the, what was the lyrics of that song? It was, um, it was my very first one, so y'all don't judge me. But it was, oh, Music Mixer is hopping on this track like an injured sprinter. Like I say, you know how rappers say, hey, I'm, I'm gonna hop on your track, I'm gonna hop on the track, let me hop on the track, let me hop on the track. Well. What do sprinters do in the Olympics when they're injured, when they hurt their foot? They hop on the track. So I said, music makes a hopping on this track like an injured sprinter. That was my very first opening line for that record label. Yes, they did sign me on.
Music makes it hopping on this track like an injured sprinter. I forgot the I forgot the rest of the lyrics, y'all. My mind is blank. Music makes it hopping on this track like an injured sprinter. Something about my bars being cold and something about winter. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, y'all. That's all in the past. That's all in the past. I might get back into the music stuff, but I'm thinking about making some kind of like trucker stuff. I know, right, child? Child of most high God? I know, right? But yeah, y'all, I'm thinking about getting back into the music. I'm thinking about making some kind of trucker's anthem. I'm thinking about it. Almost like that song I can't stand, that don't touch my truck, that annoying song. I'm thinking about uh, making a trucker anthem like that. So I don't know. Stay tuned. Yeah, that, that, it might be it might be interesting. So I might uh I might do that. Anyway, y'all, let me uh, handle these kids because they do not want to go to bed. And then the wife put a movie in. Uh, we were letting him think. <laughs> Thank you, Rudy. Ooh, get Tim Gentry on the feature, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm only gonna tell you guys this, okay? I thought about hitting up Just Trucking to get him on the song, y'all. I thought about getting Just Trucking to do like a hook or something, just something, something simple. Because I think he'd do it. If I talked him into it, I think Just Trucking would do it. So I'm thinking about uh, putting a song out and seeing if Just Trucking would do it. Yes, Josiah. Josiah, it is time for bed. Would Gentry do it? I might be able to talk Gentry into doing it. He definitely sent up the guy to do that. Yeah, I know, right? If I talk Justin into it, I think I could get him to do it, y'all. Gentry, I think he'd do it, but finding time to do it would be Gentry's problem. Updated version of Convoy. Okay. Go for it. Do what you want. Ask him to email. I can email T Dubs. Yeah, my, my wife and T Dubs text nonstop. Those two are like best friends. T Dubs, my, yeah, she would. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, hey, Justin's probably watching now. He probably is. He probably is. Justin B. Ghost watching. But yeah, I, I don't I could get I could get Gentry to do it, but the time to actually do it, I don't know if, I, if he had time to do it. But I really, even if he was busy, I could talk Justin into doing it. I could persuade Justin. But uh, yeah, just something, just something corny. Uh, Justin is doing a little. I don't know. I don't know. You'd be surprised. Featuring little Brax. <laughs> nah, you'd be surprised. I can get. If it's all just for having fun and just being a, you know. Just being some inspiration. I think, yeah, Justin, he's all about that. I can, I, can, I think I can get Justin to do it. Josiah, why are you out of bed? Come here. But yeah, I don't know. So just only y'all know that, so don't say nothing. I had an idea the other day, so don't say nothing. See any salesman skills? Maybe you can. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I might, I might, uh, I'm going to hit him up later, uh, next, <coughs> next week and see if he'll do it. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you. Yeah. That would be cool, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get Bruce Willis on the song. I'm sorry. I don't think that man has any rhythm in his body. Stand right there until I'm done. No, back up. I don't want y'all playing. Back up. Right there. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Since y'all been sticking it out this, this, I don't know why I have this pocket knife in my hand. But since y'all stuck it out this long, uh, I'm, I'm going to give, give y'all that little, that little nugget there. <sighs> but yeah, I think for sure I can get T-Dubs to do it. But Justin, it might take a, take a little persuading. But I don't know any... I know plenty of studios in Atlanta, but I don't know any out there where he lives, so we gotta figure that out too. Then again, I can build a studio anywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Rudy. 
I could build a, 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 a small recording booth anywhere. So I can probably set up shop in his, uh, his kid's playroom. Ellis, what's going on? I'm showing you guys the uh, $20, $20. I'm showing you all the new floors that we're gonna be putting in the truck. So this weekend, this we're putting this uh, imitation brick down as the flooring. And it is textured too. It's got the, I don't know if y'all can sell, but it's got the texture on there. T-dubs, really? That's cool. I even thought about doing a, a little music video and everything. How do you drive past that way station? I play the fifth. Y'all are not getting any way station. I know, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. What is it like on a freight market? It's like a load of bricks. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah, new channel name, y'all. Uh, Trucking on a Budget. That's gonna be the new channel name. Yeah, Bearded Diesel guy, we were talking about you too. I think there's some coyotes out there, y'all, let me see. Uh, yeah, we get coyotes, deer, snakes. We got all that stuff. Thank you, Wade. Appreciate that. Yeah, y'all. Truck it on the budget. And that's going to be the new channel name. Uh -uh, stand up. Both of you. Both of you are in trouble. No touching the couch. That floor should look nice. Is it completely flat? Yes, it's completely flat. It's just a... Uh, I went and bought all the money. If y'all saw my uh, YouTube short, you see that I uh, bring Mexicans or fleas. Um, if it's a cougar, send her my way. Oh my gosh. Coyotes and snakes, that's all. Um, no, we get coyotes, snakes, um, deer. Somebody recently saw a bobcat. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, stop. Don't, don't unplug this. Somebody recently saw a bobcat, and somebody saw a... We live in the country, country, y'all. Um, somebody saw... I think it was a tiger. It was some kind of... Dexter, what's going on? Uh, you stand over there. Do not touch the couch. Back up. Yeah, y'all, they're in trouble. Um, I think it was a tiger somebody saw recently, but I know for sure somebody saw a bobcat. And uh, I've heard rumors of bears out here too. We saw like a little bunny yesterday coming across the road. But yeah, snakes, deer, coyotes, wild hog. I believe Bigfoot before a tiger. <laughs> no, somebody actually got a picture of a tiger. It was some kind of like orange cat, huge orange cat. Got it? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. And I think when, it, when we're um, occupied, they can kind of do what they want to do, and that is not the case. So as soon as I get off of here, they're going to be taken care of or situated. But um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm stalling. Uh, I might have them plank or do some push-ups or something. I don't know. Um... Put that down and just stand right there. Yeah, we got some crazy animals out here for sure. My wife had a snake come in the house. Uh, back when I was running that step deck, she had a snake come in the house and she called me, what do I do? So I'm in Salt Lake City. I was like, I don't know. Better be strapped, not for people, but for the animals. I know, right? They were actually, they were out, uh, when y'all watch my video tomorrow, you'll hear some shooting in the background. 
and they were uh, out there, uh, stop. They were out there, I guess, I don't know if they were shooting wild hogs or what they were shooting earlier. Uh, is Fast and Furious No, because you were getting out of bed, so no, you won't get any tomorrow. Eleven thirty. So, ooh, we child the Most High God. Ooh, we. <laughs> Show me some. No bonds tonight. I ain't had to put one. I know, right? It's crazy. Houston. I, well, we live about an hour and a half outside of Houston, like in the country. Like Houston, you won't see that at all. But out here, you see all that kind of crap. No Fidel either. Might know the culprit. <laughs> oh, yeah. True that. I got a point. Hmm. Yeah, I think Fidel, like I said, his son is uh, going to prom tonight, so that might be why he's out. To change his YouTube channel to Ball on a Budget Trucker. That's kind of where I got the name from, Ball on a Budget, but I was like, Trucking on a Budget. Oh, no. Oh, man, y'all. Uh, I want to go to bed, but I... I can't get off this couch. Him and those Miami folk. <laughs> oh, man. So, Brad, will you tell them verbatim that the truck is a goodbye? Because they, they keep questioning me, Brad. I lived in Corpus back in the early 2000s. Gotcha. You're going to stand. You want to get out of bed, so you're going to be out of bed. You're going to stand right there. Get stumped, man. You know what? The sad part about it, Mike, he definitely do it. He would. He was on stage at Matt's so singing and all that kind of stuff. I'm waiting on his Matt's video. His Matt's video is going to be real fun to watch. Stand up. I question that post yeah, for sure. Like I said, originally I said no, but Brad. Okay, thank you, Brad. And if y'all only knew what I'm paying for that pro star, if y'all only knew, military. If y'all only knew what I'm paying for that, I'll tell y'all this. I'm paying really half of what that pro star is worth. I'll just say that. I'm only paying half of what it's worth. I'll tell you guys that. I'm sure you're all right through Colleen. Shoo, who you telling? <laughs> Rudy, you're crazy, man. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so it's one of our subscribers. You know, y'all y'all know we have the best subscribers. And so, uh, um, Rudy, you got me, you got me mixed up. Uh, y'all know we have the best subscribers on the planet. So one of you guys reached out to me, emailed me. No, no, no. Actually, no. He sent me a message on Instagram, um, which y'all should y'all should follow me on Instagram. Official Lone Star Texas Ranger. Uh, no, Brad. They ain't getting this peer pressure out of me. Uh, uh. Because haters wait for this kind of stuff. Uh, mm, yep. uh Yeah, but if you're gonna put someone in a truck, it's a good idea to make sure it's reliable and somewhat comfortable. But we will see. Uh, yeah, we're, I mean, I, I, I was in it. Comfortable truck. Uh, even if the seats are not, I mean, it's a super clean truck. Needs a little detail because it's been sitting for a while. But cosmetically, that truck is is solid. Um, it's a solid truck. Uh, needs little repair done, but nothing major. There's a guy in Texas. His channel is YouTube on a budget. He's a car guy. Okay, okay I didn't know that. But um. But we're like one one of y'all reached out to me, he, uh, sent me a message on Instagram and said, "Hey, I have this truck. You know, it's been sitting here, and I was hoping to get into the truck, and it ended up not working out for me. So, uh, I hit him up, and he's he's giving me a good deal on it. Yeah, Rudy, yeah, it's a real comfortable truck, and I'm actually considering putting legacy seats in it. It looks, <laughs> oh, Brad, 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 Brad." Since your YouTube name is changing, what about your other social media name? Yes, that's going to be changing too. Everything is going to be uh, trucking on a budget. 
Yeah, Rudy. Ooh. Uh huh. Legacy seats. So we want to make sure. So we're going to equip the truck with. We want to put a TV in there, microwave, make sure there's a fridge. Make sure we supply the driver with a tablet of some sort to run logs on. Um, make sure there's comfortable sheets in there. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, comfortable mattress. You know, we're not going to put the little cheap little stock mattress in there. Some comfortable sheets, not in the little Walmart sheets. Uh, yeah, KW is definitely better. I, I hate international. And I for sure hate Pro Stars. I think they are the ugliest trucks on earth. But when it comes to running a business, you can't always have what you get. And there's another truck that I think is the ugliest truck next to the Pro Star. Um, that is, I think it's a crappy looking truck. Solid truck, but it's a crappy looking truck. That is going to be the third truck that we get that we're looking at. And so I don't know if I'm going to put a driver in it or not. But I talk about what truck we're getting in tomorrow's video. So make sure y'all tune in tomorrow. I disclose what we're getting. But, uh, but yeah, so... I've mentioned it before in past videos, but I talk about it again in uh, tomorrow's video. But, um, but yeah, when we came down to making a business um, decision, like getting the truck half of what it's worth, cause even if I got the truck and it didn't work out for like three or four months or so, I could still turn around and sell the truck, you know, for profit. So. So yeah, but yeah. I, originally, I told him no on the truck until he gave me a price on the truck, and then, like I said, Brad knows those trucks like the back of his hand, literally. And it's only about six or seven hours away from Brad to take it to him and get him, let him get it situated. Stand up. You are in trouble. I don't want you holding anything. I want you to stand right there. No sitting and no leaning. Step up. Move that. And stand right there and do not move. Back up, right there where I had you. Back up, right there, and do not move. What are you trying to say, Wade? Oh, uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Trucks in similar condition, and you're going for twenty five percent more on truck paper. Gotcha. Okay. What about when the repairs are fixed, Brad? It's probably going for about double of what it's worth. Once we get that uh, that repair fixed, it's gonna be about double. I know, right? <laughs> I'm trying to be slick. <laughs> It'll be comparable. Gotcha. Oh, Cabo, okay. But yeah, no, no, Cabo was my favorite kind of truck. But there's another truck that I think is super ugly, but for the price I'm getting it for, um, I can't beat it. And so, um, it's actually, it's almost cheap enough to where after a couple of months, YouTube will pay, for, like the money I make off of YouTube will pay for the truck. And then, I mean, that also, you know, it'll be content. Ooh, ugh. Actually, Brad, if I found one in good condition, I actually would get one. They are ugly trucks, but I would definitely own one. I feel the same way with the International Eagle. Ugly truck, but I would definitely own one. <coughs> now, the T2000s, they were an ugly truck. Um, <laughs> um, yes. Leave him alone. Worry about yourself. Josiah's gonna be standing there a very long time because he's taking off his shirt and he's not acting the right way. So I'm gonna go to bed and he's still gonna be standing right there in the dark. Put your shirt back on. T2000 don't look horrible, the older T6A were bad either. Shush. Put your shirt back on. Yeah, T700s, yeah. Though they were weird looking trucks. The 660s and the 700s were weird looking. They looked like 
rocket ships almost. Shush. Shush. You don't want to act the right way, so you can stay right there. Yeah, the T two thousand. They look nice when they when uh Stevens was Stevens Transport was using them with that the black ones with like the maroon colored logo on it. They look nice. Yeah, I know, right? It's like pugs, almost. And the pugs are ugly dogs, but they'll grow on you. No Terminators. No, stay right there. Uh -uh, stop. You're not coughing. All right, y'all. Stop. All right, y'all, let me get off of here so I can get these two situated and in bed. Yeah, Mack trucks, yeah, they are ugly. They are definitely ugly. Yeah, but they're durable, so Mack, well, the old Macs are durable, so they're, it makes sense. But yeah, y'all, thanks for watching this long. So I'll show y'all once again. These are the floors here that I'll be put around on the floor of the truck. And then um, we got some work to do this weekend. So we got to get up in the morning, get the truck situated. So when my buddy comes over on Sunday, we can start the uh, the install process. Oh. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'll check my email out here uh, in a little bit um, and see what I got going on in there. All right, y'all. Thank you all for watching. This is um, Trucking on a Budget. And uh, all right, go get it situated. Uh, yeah, Brad, we are, we're out of it. Um, this is Trucking on a Budget. Stay thrifty, my friends, and I'll catch you on the next one.